and my ladies. This is Jill. This is my lady Amy. Little Susie. Brianna. You know why we call her Brianna, right? No. <laughs> Uh, it's a long story. Shaniqua. Do you hate loads of sewing and want a new way to finish your crochet tops? Sew the shoulders of your vest together, leaving the side panels open, and make 8 to 10 long chains which we're going to use as bows. To start us off, thread your first chain on your darning needle and put this through both panels just below the armpit. Tie a bow and be sure to double knot to secure it. Repeat this 4 or 5 times on each side until you get to the bottom of your top. Be sure to space out the bows evenly. You can personalise your project by using different colours, and you could even use chunkier yarn and a big hook for statement bows. Weave the ends back into the tail of each bow, and there you have it. Not only does it look super cute, but no sewing necessary. I am a forest fire And I am the fire And I am the forest And I am a witness Here is my vest collection for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I just counted them and I think I have 17 vests. I just really like vests. <laughs> I've split them into three categories and we're going to start with ones that I knit and crocheted. So this is a crocheted acrylic one made from this multicolored yarn. And then the crocheted houndstooth, I made this from a YouTube pattern. Another little crocheted one that I made last year. Knit dark vest. <laughs> this is absolutely my most worn and my favorite. The patterns from Made in the Moment. I rave about it all the time. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> then there's this freehand knit that I did. Um, it says slay, etc. in little beads on the front. Then we've got the SpongeBob vest. I made the pattern for this in Stitch Fiddle. Um, and I made this for the SpongeBob musical. It's ah, I love it so much. Um, this one's, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. And look, you know, sometimes, sometimes the vests don't work. I didn't measure this one at all before I started making it and made it way too big for me. Um, but I might try and work it into something. I haven't blocked it or anything. It's still, it's a work in progress. I might try and sell it, I don't know. <laughs> and this is the newest knit. The pattern is from Spectacle Strick. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. This is. I think gonna be a contender for number one spot against the duck vest. And the last one is this crocheted clown vest. Um, the base pattern for this, of like this part is from Alexandria Mars and then I just like freehanded the rest of it. It's got like a blue shirt bit underneath. So it's all detachable and then there's the ruffles and I've got like a balaclava. It's the whole thing, it's not finished, but slay. <laughs> and that brings us into costume vests. So this is my clown cowboy vest another cowboy vest the last one i made this one i found at reverse garbage <laughs> and another cowboy depop find <laughs> and we're on to the last leg this is everyday vest this is a green one from asos wear this all the time this cute one from swap in newtown um i think this was my first vest started all the madness this little waistcoat that was for my brother's year six graduation <laughs> school bee vest school bee vest i got this from depop and last but not least, my fisherman's vest. It's got lots of little pockets. It's very fun. There's little fun things in the pockets. And some work in progresses. I've got this wavy vest 
um, that I started ages ago, and I'll finish it eventually. That's it, and I have so many more planned for next year. <laughs>
it's this side that's really becoming thinner. You can use double crochet like they did here. You can use half double crochet. Those are the best two beginner intermediate friendly stitches I would recommend. And then for this, you could leave your yarn plain like they did, but I feel like that frays more easily. So I would at least do a chain and then chain it through. Also the red here is a single crochet, like the trim of the red is a single crochet. There's also tutorials like these, but these are more like the traditional v-neck sweater vest so they don't give off what you see in the original photo inspiration part 10 so this is what the vest looks like once you finish part 9 you can see that we did four rows of decreasing on both sides so the next step is pretty simple we're just going to do normal rows of houndstooth no decreasing from rows 39 to 60. once you reach row 60 this is what it looks like next we're going to start working on the back of the collar so what we need to do is count how many stitches there are at the top of the v-neck. Mine has 15, and then you just add 3 to it, so it would be 18 for me. Then you count 18 from both ends of the back and mark it. Start where you left off on row 60 for row 61, and 2 stitches before where you marked it, do a decrease. For row 62, you're going to start with a decrease and then just do normal houndstooth after that. For row 63, you're going to do normal houndstooth and then end with a decrease. And then row 64 to 66 are just going to be normal houndstooth. I didn't stop at row 65 for the back so that the colors would match up when we joined. And you're just going to do the same thing for the other side of the back. Come back for part 11. Part 13. So I ended up doing four rows of front posting and back posting for the border around the v-neck. So all we have to do is just join these parts right here. I kind of just sewed it together with the yarn. And this is what it looks like. So I'm turning it right side out. And here it is. This is what the vest looked like. It took forever, and I just want to thank everyone who followed along with this series. And if you made it this far, show me your vests! Tag me or do at this video, I really want to see them. Also, I'm already working on a new project which may or may not be a different style of a vest. And tell me in the comments what else you'd like to see from my account. Crochet a sweater vest with me. So after we finish our row of double crochet, we're going to slip stitch it together and then we're just going to do what we did in the beginning of our vest when we did the ribbing. So we're going to chain two and then we're going to do front posts and back posts just like we did before. So if you need a review, you can go back to that part of the tutorial. I'm going to do front posts and back posts for about four rows. You can make it smaller than that, but I just wanted the border to be thick. So this is what it looks like once you finish both sides. And the next and last part is to do the v-neck. Insert your hook into the point of the v and then chain three and you're just going to do the same thing with double crocheting, except you're not going to go all the way around, you're going to leave some space. The amount of space you leave empty will be how thick your border will be. So I left about three inches empty. So you're going to pick up where you left off and start working in the opposite direction doing front posting and back posting. So you're going to keep going until you fill up the space. Come back for part 13. Explaining how to crochet this vest. In order to make this, you're gonna to need to make 16 granny squares. These are all gonna be for the front. In the back is this granny square, and then they just expanded the layers outward. Instead of making multiple granny squares, they're just going layer by layer and increasing so that it becomes more of a square here. The bottom back panel is a rectangle. This trim here was done with a single crochet. And so what you have to do is you have to assemble your patch where it's four granny square squares all in a line. Assemble those all together. Then add these two in and always do this working in the back of your stitches just so that it's a cleaner look. I suggest assembling both the four and the two together and the other four and the two before even touching the back. That way you can just assemble the backs directly in between. And since this is a sleeveless vest, the person just went around and did another single crochet rim here instead of adding any more granny squares for a sleeve. This back right here looks like a double crochet. Ih, 
Learn Deutsch. Things to crochet in less than 10 minutes. Start with a magic ring. Chain one. Then make three treble crochet into the magic ring. One more. Now make three double crochet. Another treble. Chain one. Now make the other half of the heart. Three double crochet. Three more treble. Chain two. Slip stitch into the magic ring. Close the magic ring. Cut the yarn and you're done. Here is the written pattern.